The last king of Angel what? The last king of Angel what by Graham Bass. Tiger, Gibbon, Water Buffalo and Gecko sat amongst the ruins of ancient Angel what? They were looking at the old stone carvings of kings and parades, feasts and battles. I would have made a fine king, said Tiger. I am so strong. Not so fine as I, said Gibbon. If I were king, I would rule with compassion and kindness. I would be a ruler who never gave up, no matter what, said the water buffalo. I would have been fearless in battle. I am a great warrior, said the little gecko, waving a twig like a sword. They, they began to argue about who would have made the best king. It takes many good qualities to be a good king, it came a voice. Strength, compassion, resilience and courage. The animals looked around in surprise. They hadn't noticed the elephant sitting amongst them. If any of you wish to it takes many qualities to be a good king came a voice strength compassion resilience and courage the animals looked around in surprise they hadn't noticed the elephant sitting amongst them if any of you wish to know if you are a worthy said the elephant go to the temple at the top of the hill they followed his gaze and saw an old ruin in the distance. None of them could remember having seen it before. I shall win this race, said Tiger, and he sprang away towards the distant hilltop with a mighty roar. Not if I get there first, cried Gibbon. He leapt onto the branches and gave chase. Hooting as he went, water buffalo snorted with determination and charged off through the jungle. I shall never give up. Wait for me, cried brave little gecko, and he scampered after them on his nimble feet. I just realised. Tiger bounded through the jungle until he came to a swamp guarded by a fearsome snake. He stopped and snarled, muscles tensed and ready. The huge reptile coiled, self-destruct. Gathering all his strength, Tiger made a mighty leap over the snake and raced on. A little later, Tiger came across a crane with a broken wing. The bird called for help, but Tiger pretended to not hear. He needed to hurry if he was going to win the race. Gibbon swung through the trees until he too came across a snake. It seemed to be tangled in the branches. Let me help you, said Gibbon, untangling the patterned coils. Then he hurried off again towards the distant hilltop. But after a while, Gibbon became tired. He spied a giant pangolin heading in the same way and quietly lowered himself on its back. The pangolin plodded on, unaware of its uninvited hitchhiker. Meanwhile, Water Buffalo was pushing tightly through the jungle when she heard a voice. Don't be afraid, the snake hissed. You may pass. But Water Buffalo trembled at the sight of the huge reptile and backed away, unable to conquer her fear. Determined to finish the race, Water Buffalo tripped around the far edge of the swamp. She plodded through an endless wilderness of twisted trees until at last, 
the end was in sight. Gecko was scampering through the jungle when he found his way barred by the snake. But Gecko was not afraid. He dodged this way and that as the snake tried to catch him. You're too slow for me, he said with a laugh, and he scuttled off through the swamp. Gecko ran on, leaping from one thick, twisted vine to the next, a handy path onwards to the distant hilltop. When the four animals finally arrived at the temple, they were astonished to find the elephant waiting for them. Each of you has done well to reach the top of the hill, the elephant said, but let us see what your journey has revealed. One amongst you is clearly the mightiest, said the elephant. His strength enabled him to escape the danger and reach the top of the hill first. Tiger roared in triumph. The elephant hadn't finished. However, he ignored a call for help along the way. He lacked compassion. Tiger looked away. Another showed kindness to the stranger, said the elephant. Gibbon nodded to himself. But the elephant hadn't finished. However, he tied quickly and happily with a ride on the back of others. He lacked resilience. Gibbon hung his head. There was one who was determined and untiring, said the elephant. One who kept going until the end was reached. Water buffalo snorted with satisfaction. But the elephant hadn't finished. However, she was unable to face her fear and was forced far from the path. She lacks courage. Would a buffalo stop snorting? And one was a bravest, said the elephant. He faced a terrible adversary without fear. Gecko chirped with glee, but the elephant hadn't finished. However, he was foolhardy. He does not fully realise the danger he was in. He lacks wisdom. Gecko chirped no more. The four animals went away to think about what the elephant had said, and there, at the top of the hill, they understood that none of them possessed all the qualities it took to be the greatest king. When they returned to the temple, they found themselves alone. All around were fabulous carvings showing the life of ancient elephant kings. Scenes of strength, compassion, resilience and courage. Tiger, Gibbon, Water, Buffalo and Gecko went back down the hill. As the years passed, the four of the animals became great friends. Tiger grew more considerate. Gibbon stopped being lazy. Water buffalo overcome her timidity and Gecko learned to be less foolhardy. None of them had ever did become the greatest roarer, for those times had passed, but they had never forgot the day they met the last king of Angkor Wat. The end.